Treat varicose veins in the legs with massage and acupressure. Hi. Unlike arteries which have muscular walls that contract to promote blood transport, veins must passively rely on the physical movement of the body to return blood to the heart. Depending on each position and each specific moment, there are veins that carry blood from above and there are also veins that carry blood from bottom to top relative to gravity. In the case of blood flowing backward, the valves inside the veins function to hold the blood, not allowing it to flow backward due to gravity. Varicose veins and spider veins occur when the valves inside the veins no longer function properly. To understand simply, the term varicose veins refers to the phenomenon of bulging veins, clearly visible under the skin, large, and long. The term spider veins refers to the phenomenon where you can see tiny blood vessels with blue, red, or purple colors gathered in clusters just under the skin. Below, for convenience, I will only use the term varicose veins to talk about both of these conditions. Genetic reasons or medical conditions such as high blood pressure, or a combination of factors such as congenital weakness, obesity, a sedentary lifestyle, or a profession that requires standing for long periods of time, such as a worker hair, and in some pregnant women, can also promote vein weakening. Some varicose veins can also be caused by strenuous and incorrect exercise, or especially in cases of constipation, and they can also occur because of any other condition if it raises blood pressure uncontrollably. To better visualize the condition of varicose veins, I have just released a video about pregnancy varicose veins. You can listen and review this article in the video podcast 13 Acupressure Vicuto. Now, I will introduce to you a simple massage and acupressure practice that can help you regardless of the cause of varicose veins in your legs. Particularly cases related to pregnancy, with many special details, will be introduced in the acupressure massage lesson in the following video in the next few days. In today's practice, to target the reduction of varicose veins in the legs, we will in turn stimulate two important acupuncture points, also located on the legs, Shui Hai Acupoint, and Sanyinjiyo acupoint. Specifically, please follow and practice with me. To practice this exercise in the most convenient way, you can sit on a chair with a solid backrest, so you can both press acupressure points and relax comfortably and always safely. First of all, we will press the Shua High acupoint. On each leg we have a Shua High acupoint located on the thigh like this. The Shua High acupoint is the 10th acupoint located on the spleen meridian. You can review the location and how to get the Shua High acupoint in detail in video SP10. Here, this is the Shua High acupoint located on my right leg. The Shua High acupoint located on the left leg is also determined in the same way. When we sit in a natural bent leg position like this, the Shua High acupoint is located 2 cun from the middle of the upper edge of the kneecap, and from there is located 2 cun to the inner edge of the thigh. To press the Shua High acupoint effectively in improving varicose veins of the lower limbs, we will use the strongest and easiest fingertip to press, the thumb on the same side as the leg. Furthermore, although we can also press two Shua High acupoints on both legs at the same time, for this exercise, I recommend pressing each acupoint on each leg to increase treatment effectiveness.
Here, use the tip of your thumb like this. Press on the shua high acupoint. Press as hard as you can bear. You can also use your other hand to support the pressure like this. Then the hand heel can press directly on the thumb of the other hand to press on the acupuncture point. The time to press hard and deeply like this can be from 30 to 60 seconds. But here we will practice acupressure like this for about 30 seconds. You can press like this, close your eyes and mentally count 30 seconds along with the clock bell I put on the screen. Put your thoughts on the acupuncture point and with the acupoint receive positive pain sensations. Then, with the same thought, spread that feeling far beyond the location being pressed on the entire lower limb, especially the area with many weakened and dilated veins. Maybe this is difficult for you, and maybe for many people, press is just press, or needle is just needle, and moxibustion is also just moxibustion, without having to think about it making head tired. But because through practical experience, I see that the practice is effective. Touching the acupuncture points and placing your mind on the energy flow, although invisible, still has great effects, I strongly advise you to practice like that. You can rest assured that, Doing so will only be more or less effective, but there is nothing contraindicated or harmful. Every 30 seconds of such deep pressure, we immediately switch to pressure rotation of the acupuncture point that we just pressed, this time is equivalent to the time you just pressed. Because we have just pressed very deeply and strongly on the acupressure point, we should now also press rotate the acupressure point relatively strongly and in a wider range than many other acupressure points that we have practiced in other acupressure exercises. This time is equivalent to the time you just pressed, approximately 30 seconds. Now, after pressing and pressing rotating the Shua high acupoint like that, Let's press the the Sanyinjiyo acupoint with me. The Sanyinjiyo acupoint is the sixth acupoint, also located on the spleen meridian. You can review the location and how to get the Sanyinjiyo acupoint in more detail in video SP6. This is the Sanyinjiyo acupoint located on my right leg. The Sanyinjiyo acupoint is also located symmetrically on the left leg. The Sanyinjiyo acupoint is located on the inside of the lower leg, right next to the posterior edge of the tibia, and about 3 cun from the top of the ankle. This is where the Sanyinjiyo acupoint is on my right leg. To press the Sanyinjiyo acupoint to effectively treat varicose veins in the legs, we also use the same method as the Shuahai acupoint, that is, press firmly and deeply for about 30 seconds, then press rotate widely and relatively strong, within about 30 seconds. Now please practice with me, close your eyes while you practice acupressure, listen to the sound of the clock's second hand. And think about receiving and releasing the painful and exciting sensations of acupressure and energy and positive impacts on the acupuncture point. We also use the tip of the thumb on the same side as the foot being pressed, and the other hand also supports the acupressure process like this. Now, we immediately press rotate on the Sanyinjiyo acupoint that was just pressed, with the same thumb tip as before, and also within 30 seconds.
Now, we have finished the process of pressing and pressing rotating on two acupuncture points, the Shuahai and Sanyinjio acupoint, respectively, of the right leg. Now please do the same for the left leg. After that, you can repeat the process of pressing and pressing rotating two acupuncture points on this leg and then the other leg for about three to five times. You can practice this exercise a few times a day, and it is best to prioritize acupressure at the two most important times, in the morning when you wake up and in the evening before going to bed. Wish you health. Thank you. Goodbye and see you again.